Hey guys, do you ever struggle with just flat hair and all you want in life is that volume and textured look? Well today I'm going to show you guys how to get just that and it's seriously so simple and so easy. It's got like volume and texture and looks like you put in no effort at all but it just looks really cool. So let's just get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm starting with wet or damp hair, so the product we use will work best. I'm taking a Veda's Texture Tonic and I'm spraying this all over the head to prep the hair for maximum texture. And I'm doing this from the roots all the way to the end. This product is so great because you don't have to be scared that it will leave a sticky, clumpy or crunchy feeling. And this one actually has cane sugar and salt, which helps to create movement of the hair. And best of all, it's so light and leaves the hair really flexible so that you can you know, keep kind of building on it and it doesn't weigh it down. So once that's all over the hair, to start the texturizing process, I'm actually going to take my hands and just scrunch up my hair from the ends. It might sound a little strange, but trust me, this is the easiest way to create movement and texture in the hair in the most natural way. And the crazy thing is the more that you do this and let your hair air dry, the better it will look. So you can let this air dry as I said before, but for this video I'll show you what you can do to speed up the process with a hair dryer. So I took sections of the hair starting from the bottom and you can section it off if it makes it easier. And you just want to scrunch each piece, there's no real rhyme or reason to it, just scrunch it up. Hold it towards the head and blow hot air onto the piece until it's about 80-85% to 85 dry. And you can take thicker sections or smaller sections and I'm just going to keep repeating this to the entire head. So just keep scrunching the hair all together until your hair is pretty much completely dry. Now when the hair is almost dry, this step is optional, but to make it a little bit more refined, I'm going to go in with a round brush and just blow out the front section of my hair. And you want to blow dry it forward so the brush is under the hair, and this will just frame the face a little more, make it a little bit more refined, but as I said, it's completely optional and you could leave it without this step and you can go through and curl any of the pieces that you want a little bit more volume or just add a little bit more curl to add another dimension of texture to the look. And I'm using a small curling iron. It really doesn't matter what size the barrel is, just remember when you curl it, leave the ends straight and this will give the most natural effect. And then when you release the curl, I like to just tug on it a little to loosen it up a little and give that beachy, effortless look. Once you're done, if you feel like any of the curls are a little bit too much or too tight, I like to just break it up by running my fingers through the hair. So it should look something like this. So it's just so natural, it's so easy. And now that you created all this volume and texture, you can actually flip your hair to either sides or have it in the middle, whatever it is that you prefer. And it still looks so awesome because of all that volume we created at the roots and through the body of the hair. And there you have it. I'm so, so in love with the effect that the Texture Tonic helps to create in the hair. It's so healthy. It still retains like your natural shine of the hair. So I hope you guys enjoy this really simple tutorial make sure you check out Aveda's site where you can check out more information about the texture tonic or even visit one of their salons thanks for watching bye